Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. How's it going, buddy? I'm good. Sorry, I'm a little. That was a weird opening. I'm a little delirious. Josh, keep that in, though. What? That opening. That oh, oh, oh. opening. It's, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Bear with me. I'm. Uh, I'm a little sleepy boy. Go ahead. Tell me about how you're a dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just got like something came out of my mouth or nose, possibly both. Mm, boogers. Uh, well, surprisingly, I'm not tired because of the baby, the, the kids. Yeah, I'm not tired because of it. Um, Why are you tired? I was up late. Duh. Yeah. Up early. Duh again. Why is both of these duh? Because that would be the two things that lead you to be tired. Gotcha. Don't get enough sleep, Joey. Gotcha. And we're not all sitting here in their fucking, you know, in your 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 primrose castle. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, we've been having like uh, I I don't know to. Uh, supernatural possibly occurrences you you've been having paranormal okay. activity uh, possibly possibly you might be, wait you're being in f you're being overrun by ghosts i don't know if it's ghosts i don't it also just might be just strange coincidences all happening at the same time you know when like they say like things happen and they seem like coincidences because you're thinking about them happening you okay. know what i mean like they're things that are like you know, you never see the, the color blue, and then you're like, "Oh my god, I've recently seen the color blue a lot." And then you see blue everywhere because yeah, yeah. your brain, like, right. but um, it started a couple nights ago. We were in bed, and you know, we have we have we we sleep on a Casper mattress, pretty nice, uh, and we have a, a mattress. Casper's cover. a ghost. Damn, it's the mattress. There it is. It's the fucking mattress. Solved it. Uh, but. When you like roll to the side to get off, it like squishes a little, mm -hmm. and it hit. I think it hit the remote, which was on the side of the bed, mm -hmm. and it turned the TV on at like two a.m. And so like Becca and I got freaked out because we it, and it was like a, a fucking I think it was like a Spanish band, like a mariachi band. So we woke up to just like <laughs> <laughs> I was like Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe it's a, a Spanish ghost. It might be a Spanish ghost. Maybe it's like one of your like dead uncles or something. Oh, I only um, have one. So is he, is he dead? Yeah, who well, he's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, um, you only have one uncle? One dead uncle. Oh, so maybe it's him. I uh, yeah, it could be. But he he was a nice guy. This stuff is getting like. To the point where it's like freaking us out a little bit. Okay. Not as much me, because I, I tend to believe more in coincidences than I do like spirits and stuff like that. It's a Spanish coincidence. It's a Spanish coincidence, right. which <laughs> yeah, it's a run of the mill for yeah, you. Yeah, it's not ghosts, it's a Spanish coincidence. But then the other night at like, it must have been like 2 or 3 a.m., Miles comes into the room and he says he had a bad dream. And Becca at the exact same time wakes up from a bad dream. So, oh boy. So she rolls over to me and goes, babe, babe, I'm waiting for like, you know, so can, can you do this? Can you go grab a bottle of the baby? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Um, have, you, have you watched any demonic videos today? <laughs> <laughs> Becca asked you if you were watching demonic videos? Yeah, yeah. What is a demonic video? <laughs> you know, videos. Videos of demons? I guess. Demonizing? Or like a scary movie, you know, like an Annabelle creation or some shit. She's like, hey, were you up all night watching exorcisms? And I, <laughs> I, I told her, I was like, what? Like, wait, what time is this? Like two in the morning? It's like two, three in the morning. And she woke you up. She, babe, babe. <laughs> are you watching demonic Not videos? are you? Did you? Did you watch any demonic videos But, today? like, what was her thought process that you watch them and then now they're slipping out through your ear well, yeah. and into you her know, head? Be Becca is more in tune with, you know, her spiritual side. She she believes in that stuff more than I do. So, and, and I'm fine. She you thinks know. that the demons are inside you. She thinks that, like, watching these movies... She's not a big fan of scary movies. Mm -hmm. That watching these movies conjure up these bad spirits. Yeah. And, like, it's like... <laughs> The idea that is kind of funny that it's like just wait until they watch this movie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that it's like the fucking the minute you know like the Conjuring Part Three starts, it just like comes out like hey. Yeah. And now she's having nightmares, and you sleep like a baby. I've been sleeping pretty good. Yeah. Um. Uh. Like I. I honestly, but I could have had nightmares, and I don't really remember them. Dude, I don't know if I could deal with something like that. Like if I was you, and she's like, hey, have you been watching demonic videos? I'd be like. Get away from me. Because, like, I'd be so scared from that. I'd be well, like, get away from me. Don't say this to me. It's what she, it's what, like, she believes in that stuff. And I'm not one of those people that's going to be like, you believe in it, you fucking geek. It's like, maybe one day I might. You're so agnostic. I'm trying to, I'm trying to exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to be, like, sensitive. Like, I get it. 
I, you know, just because I don't believe in it doesn't mean it's strange coincidences. Yeah, I don't know that I believe in ghosts and, and, and demonic forces, but I'm definitely not going to talk shit about them. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Don't poke the bear. Yeah, yeah, you don't be all. the one that causes them to be real. I don't want them maybe one day to come around. I'm not but, trying to. But then, so that was a couple nights ago. Last night, luckily. More demons? Oh, yeah, more demons. Wait, hold on. Why did she ask you that? What'd she say? She, it was just she, random? She said, like, well, because they both had bad dreams at the same time. And she oh. was like... Oh, she was just trying to, like, think of a reason why? Why? Because it, it's... But again, she, she dreamed of demons? No. It, I, and, and Miles' dream was of, like, bugs. But, like, it's not it's not the fact that the... You know, of what was in the dream. Not the content. It's the, the fact that he had scaring her, yes. So, she's <laughs> like, uh, last night, we wake up at 1145, and we hear, like, sounds. Like... Okay. I'm like what the f you know, and, and like I wake up and like I I look up, and she wakes up. She's like, "Did you hear that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I did." And she's like, "Okay." And we roll over. I hear it again. Maybe you have like mice. We'll get to that. Okay. So, so I'm like, oh, and she instantly goes to, "Did you hear that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I heard that. It's weird." She's like, "Someone is in the house." <laughs> Immediately, right? Instantly. And what? They're tap dancing in the living room? I guess so. Like they're just like fucking looking for stuff mm. so i'm like all right you know I, I i get up i go look and to her credit i go out there no <laughs> to her credit someone was in the house yeah. no <laughs> to her credit i hear i hear nothing so i'm like all right you know like whatever she a comes spanish out with, consequence miles has a miles has a a, a, a dream or a, some sort of nightmare at the same time so wait this, talking, at this point again at the, at this point how are their dreams like synced up like they're this? weird they're weird they're, they, they're on like bluetooth or something yeah what the fuck and uh he's like mumbling in his sleep like ah, I mm, I like just like saying shit <laughs> yeah. and she goes in and she's like miles are you all right and he like sits up and he's like awake but he's still like just like mumbling like sleep talking uh-huh and she puts him down we go back in the room we hear again and we're like all right like i'm getting pissed at this point in time and she's getting very Concern, you know, yeah. understandably. So and she's got, she's got a half asleep mumbling son who could be he, doing demon he, prayers. He's speaking in tons over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she doesn't realize that he's fucking chatting it up with Pazuzu in his spare time. <laughs> she's Googling. She's like, this language died years ago. <laughs> she's like, how does he know this how language? Does he know Latin. <laughs> this is a thousand years ago this language died. Yeah. And uh, so she's like, we go out again. We check again. You know, all the doors are locked. All the windows are locked. Security system's on. There's it, there's no way someone's getting in the house without... Being a spirit. But, well, yeah, without phasing through the wall. Exactly. And um, so then we go back in the room. We hear it again. So at this point, we're like, all right. So we go outside, and she goes, grab a, grab a weapon. So I grab a knife. <laughs> and I'm just sitting on my couch with a knife. <laughs> what time is it? It's fucking like 12, 15, 12, <laughs> Baby 30. sleeping? Baby sleeping. At this point, she's like, I'm starting to get concerned. I'm like, all right, do you want to go to a hotel? Do you want to call the cops? Go to a hotel? Well, that was on the table? Of course it was on the table. <laughs> Dude, I would just sleep out in the yard before I did that. Well, if they're, you know, what if it's like people like knocking on the door stranger style and running around the, you know? Oh, oh, yeah. No, then you're dead. Well, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. So, also, if she thinks it's a ghost, you grab a knife. Like, well, that's the what point. weapon did she think? Like, <laughs> go get your backpack. <laughs> yeah, well, that's well, that's the thing that's funny is like she's like, go grab, Turn on grab the a weapon, grab a weapon, and I sit on the couch with a knife. What's gonna happen uh, if there's a ghost? What am I gonna do? Fucking you know, slice and dice this thing? Yeah, it's gonna go right through. From, These, from what we know about ghosts, you can't stab them. Apparitions, you'll go right through. Just start praying really hard. Well, or like garlic, a... garlic, garlic. Oh no, that's vampires. That's vampires. That's yeah, vampires. Yeah. Sage and the wood. What's the wood one? Palo Santo. Palo Santo. I have in my drawer. Do you? Yeah. Do, do you... I don't know why. That's why you've had such good luck. You're burning Palo Santo. Apparently, that like brings in good spirits. It brings in good spirits. Apparently. Oh. Um, I like... used to burn that bitch a lot. Well, they. Well, pff, you got a money tree. You got Palo Santo. <laughs> it's been a good year for you, Joe. Me, on the other hand, I'm fucking. I ain't burning a goddamn thing. Trying to burn the shit in his backyard. Yeah. So um, I'm sitting out there, and uh, finally I start to hear the like the ice machine. Ah. Uh. So I'm like, all right, wait a sec. Okay. Earlier in the day, I shut the ice machine off because in our we have the freezer that is like a pull out drawer. Mm -hmm. Sucks, by the way. And once the freezer, once the ice gets blocked up, it like comes to like a fucking peak and starts to like fall over the side, like in the freezer, it, like falls like through like all like your frozen goods and shit so it makes sound so i'm like all right 
I'm starting to feel better. And, and Becca's starting to feel better too because I'm like, it's got to be the freezer. Mm-hmm. But then I hear something in the kitchen, like fall. And I'm like, fuck. God, <laughs> it moved from the freezer to the kitchen. And I go over and I'm like, all right, like what's going on? But then I see like, you know when you leave something and like you just kind of like put it down and it's like teetering mm-hmm. and it can like, it, there's no reason why it'll go one way or the other, but it just eventually will. Right. I think it was something like that because I saw a couple things like that. I was like, all right. This morning, dude, the demons are with They're you, bro. fucking hanging it's with us. Oh, I didn't, and I didn't sleep. I stayed up until about two because I just couldn't fall asleep. Um, well, yeah, you're probably like, your heart's racing. Well, I'm thinking about these demons. And if someone comes, you know, we put, we put Miles in bed with us just because, you know, it make Becca feel better. Um, Those, that's two demon dreams against one. That's, be I would scared. be, I would be up for, I'd be in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Um, and then I, this morning, you know, you know, I, I drink a lot of tea, yeah. I know, the shocker to the world. And I'm looking and I'm cleaning up the, the counter and I see like, Possibly residual tea from when I make my tea, but also I'm like, oh, what if it's mice poop? Oh, I thought you were going to say the tea like spilled something out. Oh, no, that's when you burn the house. <laughs> oh, dude, I would have been fucked. You know, they burn the sage and the palo santo and the fucking shingles at that yeah. point. <laughs> Set the roof on fire. Yeah. Um, oh, you saw mouse poop? I, it might have been. It could have been. Was it circular? Because I've I know mouse poop. Too. No, mouse poop is not circular. It's like oh, oval it's like shape. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but like I, little logs. Yes, but they're but they're little. But then again, I also make my tea there, and I I make loose leaf tea. If you expect me to know what that means, it's literally tea, like not in a tea bag, and it's not ground up. Oh, okay. It's like it's like the leaves. So you're like rolling doobies, basically. So I'm basically rolling doobies. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna figure it out. Last part of this story is, you know, I've been, I've been having a little tough time with certain things. I'm telling Becca this morning. I'm like, you know, I just, I, in some ways, I feel like I'm just going fucking crazy. And she's talking to me. Don't laugh at that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm waiting because I feel like you're building up this moment. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, you know, I just feel like I'm going crazy. And she's like, don't, you know, don't worry. Like life's okay right now. Bye bye bye. And then I get a text from her. Her sister named Sarah. She goes, I just spoke to Sarah. Um, okay, she goes. She had a dream, and she w- you know, she woke up to someone in her ear going, "Sarah," <laughs> and woke up. Was she like alone? She was in bed. You know, her husband next to her. He didn't do. He was sleeping. Apparently, I I, I assume so. I don't have that much info yet. Mm-hmm. This is happening as I am telling this oh, story. This is real time. I am finding this out. Okay. And um, apparently, she had a dream that I had gone crazy and lost my mind. What did that look like? Did I don't know. Like- she said, uh, "She said like I just looked like I just lost it." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is that?" You just look. I'm like just wondering, it? like, yeah, what does that look like? Because I think I keep it together pretty well. Uh, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. But you know, now Becca's yo, what like, is this I'm, all? This interconnected dreaming. That's what I'm saying. Becca's Becca's understandably very freaked out. So. We're gonna do the sage and the Palo Santo, and she's. Oh, you guys are gonna have a seance? Oh, I don't know about all that. Well, I don't really know what a seance is. To I be think honest. that's like when you like draw like the star and like sit in it with. No, salt. no, that's like you're trying to like pull a demon out of a book or something. Well, what if it's in one of our books? Well, I throw the books out, dude. <laughs> that doesn't get it. I don't know. No, I think like a seance is like you gotta have like items that you like are willing to part with, like. You know, like an old pair of shoes that, like, from when you were a baby, and then like you light a bunch of shit and like on fire. sacrifice it to like yeah. the gods. Yeah, you gotta like give something up to get something. You know, oh. eye for an eye kind of thing. Who's oh. the guy? Ruben Ruben Stuttered. Stein? No, Ruben Stein. What's the guy's name? Eye for an eye. Har- Hammer Hammurabi. Hammurabi. Fuck. <laughs> Ruben Stuttered. I didn't say Ruben Stuttered. You said I said Ruben, and then you said Ruben. I said Ruben Stuttered. You said Ruben Stein. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a that Jewish was, doctor, probably. Definitely is. Yeah. Um. <laughs> But I don't really know. So you guys are going to go home and you're going to burn a bunch of stuff? Well, you know, again, I'm not one of the, Like, she's clearly uncomfortable and rattled. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to let her, you know, burn the sage and the palo santo. Yeah. And just, like, try to figure it out. Because cool. that was... I, I will say, although I'm not one to, you know, kind of subscribe to the, you know, spiritual, demonic way of thinking. Yeah. These are... There are a lot of coincidences here. It is interesting to have that. I've never had an experience like that. You've so, never had an experience with a ghost? Um, I get out of there pretty fast before it gets out of hand. <laughs> like There was one time that I was walking. I like woke up in the middle of the night when I was living at home, and I, my room was upstairs, and I came down the stairs, and all I saw was like, you know on some nights when the moon is just like bright? 
Like someone just cranked oh, the yeah. fucking moon. Oh, it's like daytime out there, but it fucking one a.m. And, and like it like hits through the window so perfectly, it kind of illuminates the room. It's beautiful. It, it's just cool. Yeah. So that was happening, but it was just illuminating this random chair in the middle of my living room, which I don't know why it would be there. And I walked down and I just saw that and I was like, no. Nah. And I went. <laughs> I literally just went back upstairs just like, forget about the glass of water. Like, I'm going to sleep. All these people in these scary movies that are like, there's a demon. And like, there's, you know, I understand my situation. People could say it's a scary movie. But like, in like real life, when people are saying, like in the movies, when it's like, they like it's like scratched in the wall, like we're going to fuck your face. Yeah. And, and it's like written like, in blood. And it's like, we got to stay. This is our home. Nuh-uh. You Bro, lost that home to that demon. I ha- Yeah, dude. Put I will, it on the market. I will concede Quick. You, I think that's why demons don't fuck with me because they know it's going to be like this. You're not going to have any fun. You could literally like I, the one thing or I see something if something falls off the wall in a weird way or like a spoon just flies across. The, dude, I'm leaving. Well, listen, if a spoon is flying across the room, yes, Bro, I'm getting out of I'm there too. I'm out. But like all these people in scary movies that are just like, we got to take back our home. Uh-uh. I'm not fighting a fucking. I can't see. There's demon? Other, other homes. You'll find one. Other homes. You'll you'll find one. I'm sure in some parts of the country there's ghost insurance. Like maybe in like New Orleans. Isn't that like a voodoo town? Is there? It is a, apparently a haunted, very haunted place. Or you think I'm buying a house without voodoo insurance? I just like I uh, I need someone because it's so weird because I don't believe in that stuff until. Don't you want some exposure therapy too? Like th- like I feel like I want like everyone's like yo this is a fucking uh, an insane asylum why are always insane asylums like the place to be because there's <laughs> you know tortured that? souls that died after you know it's it's stupid are they but like whatever but you know like they're like oh this place is haunted like crazy shit happens here i'm always just like no i need to go i need to go and experience this like for myself oh really I'm not there gonna, was a like, place sleep. that people used to go to on on long island i forgot the name of it amityville no 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 no, no. there was like a a, a a not like amityville is like a tourist attraction now well, yeah, I think, it, but it was like a, a place where like yes. there's like murders and shit. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like there was uh, like a rundown asylum that like people would break into all the time and like do like the whole like oh my god people are here, and uh, <laughs> I I actually knew people in college that were a part of like the paranormal club. You your college had a paranormal club? Oh yeah, big time. What is that? What do they do? They have like night sessions where they stay in a building. Like there was like a haunted building on campus, and they would stay in the building and like like do like a ghost hunt. What the fuck are yeah. you saying? I to swear me? to God, they have like fucking cameras. What is a ghost hunt? What are you doing? Are you gonna trap them? You're gonna fucking see them, and and then what? That's what I'm saying. Oh, like, I need to see it. Like if 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 the ghost. No, actually, I don't want to say that. Oh my god, I don't want to. Where are they? Are they below us? I, above I, us? I don't. I don't want to see it unless I'm like going out of my way to see it. I don't want to see it like I'm. Um, Getting a glass of water and then I close the door of the refrigerator and there's a guy standing there. Well, the I thing. will lose my mind. I'll be like, if it's like six cents where like I like turn my head and there's a girl like throwing up next to me, I'll be pissed off. Thirteen ghosts, you know, any of those, I'll be a little upset. But like, if I just like walk in and like someone's just like chilling like in a chair, that's not as bad. But like when they get up and they're like, nah, 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 like yeah, don't get don't like <laughs> chomp at me. It needs to let me see you're there. Then you can move a little bit. Go Don't away. start with the movement. I would like to see a ghost if, you know, if I was going out of my way to see a ghost, because again, I want to be surprised by one, I would like to just see one like reading a book. Yeah. I don't need to hear any kid sounds. I'm definitely like throw a rock at it. Like, I would almost rather see a ghost like just like standing naked and bloody than hear like, la, la, la. No, nah, <laughs> bro. And uh, bro, <laughs> Yo, first of all, flip. all it would take. Even like, and I'm I, and I'm saying this is a warning. This is a warning. And ghosts, all the ghosts I, that watch. I have said this before, and I'll say it again because it just needs to be reiterated. And I'm so dead serious. In a chubby's tank top. If it, yeah, if it is after midnight, and I am by myself, and there is a, an unsupervised little child. I'm gonna fight it. <laughs> I'm going to fight it. Like I'm dead serious. It terrifies. But what? Yo, but see, that's the opposite. I don't know why. But I would like, go the opposite way, dude. Um, no, because those are the the, they, the the big demons come in small packages, bro. You're right. You're right. It's like I the little like the little fucking, girl that like walks out and she's like, "I'm here to take your home," and like their bro, fucking head turns. I would rather see a twelve foot fucking 
shadow monster with like dicks for teeth bleeding covered in like diseased blood uh, in a in an assignment like that you pulled that out of your ass real quick yeah and then i would rather see that than like a little girl like playing hopscotch in like an asylum like that i'd be like we need to get the fuck out of here <laughs> because that would terrify me more you're walking down the street what's worse i used to have this i remember specifically i used to have this like not a nightmare, but like when I would walk home from your house, I would freak myself out by putting myself in these situations. What would be more freaky? You're walking down a street, a story of street, you know, they're long, you could see pretty much the end of it. You see like a grown man standing in the middle of the street running at you, or you see a small child with like a fucking twirly twirl lollipop just fucking booking it at you uh, like a, the Oregon Trail. It's it's the child. I, it, for me, I don't. I really don't know why. There was a time I where, can outrun a kid though. Like that's a thing. Is I'm yeah. not worried. I, I'll just keep running. Hey man, it's a demon. You run one way, she's gonna appear that way. Like we. But seen see, that's the, the trick. We've seen these movies like with like Jason Voorhees and like Michael Myers. Like I, if Jason Voorhees was after me, I would just keep backing up and just watch him. There's no way, uh, like, uh, someone who just walks is going to, like, catch me, <laughs> dude. Like, there's just no way. These people that are, like, running, and they're like, oh, fuck, shit! Ah! And, and they're tripping. And like, they're bro, tripping I've, over nothing, and they're I dead. I haven't tripped in years. Like, I have tripped, not to the point where I can't get right back up. I actually stumbled this morning, to be honest with you. Oh, a little stuff. It's coming. It's, it's laying the ground. I was work. listening to music, and I was walking my dog, and then, like, a part of the sidewalk was, like, up, and uh -huh. I was wearing, like, slippers. I, was, I just hit it. I was like, oh! <laughs> oh, I always try to like play it off whenever that happens to me in person, but like I've fallen at my house like a fucking geriatric piece of shit. Just go down on your hip? Yeah. And uh I like I get I get up right away. I, I have that luxury right now. Like but yeah, if it was if it was a little kid, I hear what you're saying. I wouldn't fight them. There, I would just run the other way. There was a time specifically and maybe this is where it started. Um well, I think it started with The Shining because that scene always freaks me out with the two girls the at the twins, end of the hallway. Yeah. yeah, like that's like the scariest part. Also, when the kid's screaming, red rot, uh, that literally, like literally I would kill myself. Yeah. Like literally. You, got, you wouldn't let the ghost I get would, to you. You'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, because I'd be like, well, I can't go on now. I'm just going to think about this kid every single fucking time I try to sleep. So it's over. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's just do it now. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a time where I was driving around in the Petropolis' car. They had a, a van at the time. Tim was driving, and I was in the passenger seat, and then Johnny was in the back. And we're driving around Astoria because it's so foggy, like to the point where if you go down to the strip, you can't see the city at all. It you can't see the bridge. It looked like the end of the earth. Like it was just black. It was that foggy. And we're driving around, and we're like joking around. Like, yo, this is mad creepy. And we turn on a block. It's night, bro. 1130, something like that. And there's a little girl. And I like shrieked <laughs> because there was no one around. Yeah, no, that's that's. But then like her mom or dad or whatever like came around the corner and was right there, and I was like, bro, literally, like I, that's when I knew I was like, bro, that literally like struck fear in my heart. I'm like, oh yeah, fuck, that, that would be tough. There was one time I don't know if you remember, you, we were walking down what we have called the longest block in the world. You know which block I'm talking about? Forty third yes. between yeah. Dittmar's and Twenty First. And on the corner of 21st oh and 43rd. Oh my god! Yeah. You remember this? Yes. Scared the shit there out of was us. A, there was a house on the corner of 24, 21st and 43rd. It was a house that, like, you never saw anyone coming in no, or going I, out. Honestly, I've only seen a car drive through the front yard. And it was always dark except for one lit light in one window. It had several windows. It was a pretty big house, yeah. too, for, for Astoria standards. And I remember we were walking down and we both looked at the same time and there was an old woman with like in like a red fucking gown. Just and, like and hair in front of her face. Dude. Like the ring. Like the ring. And it this wasn't I don't think it was Halloween. It was like Bro, it was like summer. summer. Yeah, summer. Yeah, it was summer because we and it was daytime. Yeah. Like we were like this is not, yeah. This I was literally not, just ran home. Yeah, this was not good. It was a not not a good time to that be there. That fucking, and Keith was there too. He remembers that story. I'm sure he does. It oh was fucking God. legitimately scary. I really don't fuck with any of this shit. I really just hope if a demon does take me, just like continue to like financially support my family. That's all I ask. Oh, wow. That's nice of you. I That's literally the last thing I'm thinking about. Bro, oh. I'm thinking about demons. Like, bro. 
I won't also, bring it here. Just start like like just sage every time I come in here, and like if you see me like convulse, you know that we have a problem. Just sage every time you come in here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I already know I'm gonna sleep tonight and hear like a fucking deep voice, and I'll be like, oh my god, <laughs> just like Shandar Kandar, like fucking like reading would, from the Book of the Dead, bro. What would you do if Miles like woke up out of his sleep, just sat up, his eyes are closed, and he just started like speaking a different language? Well, that's, that's you don't you don't you don't hit you don't punch him. I mean, like, that's but what he started doing last also, night. Also, like, not speaking a different language, but he was like, uh, no, no, I don't want to. He didn't say that, bro. It, don't fuck with me. Yeah, I'm, listen he to said, me. no, I don't want to go. He also, in the middle of the night, that's when it. he was in bed with us, sat up and started collecting the blankets and like, all right, I'm going to go. And like, Becca was like, Miles, chill out. Lay down. Go where? I don't know. This is like it now. He's going to the sewer. Yeah. I might be. I might be. Bro, haunted. he said no. I don't want to go in his sleep. I would have. I would. You would have had to. Restrain I, all right, me. hold on. It might not have been no. I don't want to go. But like he was like mumbling like shit. Um, yeah, I'm, you know. I can't have that. It was. It was like, dude. If my future kids ever wake up out of their sleep like that, like just sit up and like. I'd be like, well, I'm going to jail to protect myself. Put him back. Yeah. <laughs> just start shoving them back into your I'd be like, oh, other. come on, buddy. We're going to sleep out in the yard. <laughs> God, look at the flowers. Yeah, I know. Uh, God, that is terrifying. I don't really fuck with any of that, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't, but I also don't believe in it. Like, I'm trying to, exp- like, tell Becca, like, this is, I understand if you do believe in this, mm-hmm. and that's okay, but at the same time, it's nothing to get, like, freaked out to the point where you're like, we need to leave this home. Yeah, because apparently, like, so exorcisms, right? Are like a real thing, apparently. But I've never known someone who's even known someone who's gotten an exorcism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things that, like, people hear it through the grapevine. Yeah. And like, I would love to meet someone who's like, oh, yo, my cousin, like, oh, I don't even want to open the door. Don't send me messages. Don't send me yeah, messages. I really don't want to fucking Here we go. Know. Here come the messages. Like, really don't oh, wanna... you want to know? My cousin used to sit on my face and then was exorcised. Yeah. <laughs> exorcised on my face. <laughs> um... No, but, like, I really don't want to hear any of that. I also, like, I... Because I'm not going to believe them either. Because I saw this... Actually, I saw this documentary. Um, and it was about 9-11, right? And people who lived around... <laughs> Where are you going with no, this, No, no, no. I'm telling you. It, I'll circle back. Don't worry. Uh, Bin Laden. No, so... <laughs> <laughs> that would be a scary ghost. It was a documentary about uh, memory. And it was... Uh, took the stories of people who were around 9-11, right? Around, in Manhattan, around the building, sort of, who lived, like, in the area. And they asked them, like, shortly after 9-11, uh, you know, to recall what happened that day. And then they asked them 10 years later, right? Again, same questions, like, recall what happened that day. Mm. 50% of their story changed. Oh well, yeah. So it's interesting that when memory. You, as you no, but I'm saying like they tell the story and like yes, this is the way it happened. But you told a different story when it first happened, when it was new. So over time, as you tell stories, little things get attached, and then you believe them when you maybe exaggerate like a tiny bit or whatever, and they become part of the story that is so true to you. Mm-hmm. So when people have paranormal, you know, memories or whatever the fuck, um, and it's like oh, the years ago this happened, I always think of that documentary because i'm like maybe people like want to believe in this so bad well that's the thing that i i i truly believe that us as like humans as people we're always trying to make sense of whatever happens to us because the the concept that like the world is chaos and nothing is meant to happen at any point in time is very it's very discomforting or like the, it's, it's 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 that's really uncomfortable or that you have some sort of understanding of what is happening i remember when the fucking Con Ed thing exploded. Oh, yeah. we I legitimately thought aliens were here. So for people who don't know, and I feel like a, a lot of people do, they, a, a, like a Transformer exploded at Con Edison, which is like not far from where I was like living. It was like March of January, uh, uh, March of 2019 Yeah, at like 6 p.m. No, it was later because it was dark out. Like it was like nighttime. And all of a sudden, the, the sky was lit up like teal blue. blue. Yeah, like, and it's hard to explain it because it sounds so, like, from a sci-fi movie. But, like, you, uh, picture the color teal blue. Yeah. Look at the sky at night, and it was that color. And it was, like, light. fucking glowing. Like, and it, it was, was like, like mm, mm. yeah. And it was, like, light out. Like, you could see everything now. And it almost was, like, as bright as daytime, honestly. And at that point... It's I, such a different... I was, like, looking outside, and I was like, 
I don't even know how to react because I don't know what's happening. Yeah, right now. yeah, and, and and but that's the thing is I think that uh, uh, we as people try so hard to give explanations to things that we often look for answers in places where they don't belong. You know, like and and, and, and like look for coincidences. You know what I mean? Like if again, like with the example I used earlier, if you're like, oh my god, I'll give a better example. My brothers legitimately at one point in time in their lives thought that the number 42 was haunting them. They would look and like, it would just randomly be like 42. What time is it? 420. <laughs> what, uh, you know, where? <laughs> you know, just like, and, and like, when you have this idea in your head. Jackie Robinson? Uh, Mariana Rivera too. Oish. Um, when you have this idea in your head that something is happening and it's like, yeah, you're, you're going to create instances where it's going to make sense for you. Yeah. And I do feel sometimes because again, I'm not a very spiritual person, but in these situations, like that's what happens with these moments. Like people right. are like, you know, like I heard a noise, plus I had a nightmare, plus I feel disgusting today. And, and it's like, like, holy shit. I felt cold. Yeah. And you're like, okay. It's like your, I, your brain is trying to comfort you to give you some sort. I mean, yes, it's scaring you, but it's trying to let you know that, these, that you're not crazy. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like there, there is a logical explanation or possibly illogical, but you're not crazy for thinking the way that you're thinking. So. No, yeah. I mean, I just, like I said, I was looking out the window at a blue sky and I was just like, I, am I dead? And let me make sure I make this very clear. We are not psychologists, but we know. Yeah. We're no. smart. No, I took a, I mean, listen, I went to Yale. That, I, I, took right. a, I took a psychology class. That's right. You did take an online <laughs> six-year-old psychology intro to psychology class. What are you going to do? Hey, man. That's what it is. That's what it is. And with that, let's, p let's pivot to our friends who are friends our ads. At the same time, though, oh, I want to let you guys know, remind you, we do have a Patreon account for those of you guys that don't know. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You go there. If you join, you get every weekly episode, the ones that you're watching now, a week in advance. Get in on the jokes six days prior to when everyone else does. Actually... Seven days prior to when everyone else does. And then if you go to that next tier, well, we have episodes that come out every single Friday morning. So your weekends, your weeks are bookended by the basement boys. All right. So make sure you go check it out. Uh, if we get to 10,000, Joey's going to uh, pee his pants okay. and poop his pants. Uh, Patreon.com slash the basement yard. We're so close to getting to 10,000. We love and appreciate our current patrons. And for those that can and want to support, we understand. But check it out. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Very good, Frank. Uh, all right, let's get let's set this off with uh, we got SeatGeek. SeatGeek pulls uh, together millions of tickets from all over the web, and then they rate each deal. It's where you buy your tickets. You want to go to a concert, you want to go to a fucking a baseball game, football game, you know, whatever you want to do, comedy show. Uh, use SeatGeek. Okay, it's the best. Uh, it's the best one out there uh, for these tickets. It's it's the only one that I use. Honestly, I, I love their interface. I think it's like super dope. Um, also, they let you know if like you're getting a good deal for this ticket. So it'll be like dark green if it's like, yo, buy this shit. It's a really good one. Or if it's dark red, you're like, fuck that. Way too expensive. Um, they have over 50,000 five-star reviews, um, but they're great. And also, if you guys want to start going to these things, like you said, you know, people are getting vaccinated. Uh, you know, it's, the world's opening up. So these things are happening now. Remember when there was no concerts or anything going on? Uh, those days are over, folks. Um, so yeah, don't worry. Got the hook up. Use the code BASEMENT for $20, $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Um, that's $20 off uh, your first purchase with promo code BASEMENT. Uh, visit SeatGeek.com or download the SeatGeek app, which is what I use, the app. Uh, use the code BASEMENT for $20 off uh, your first SeatGeek order, okay? $20 off, first one, SeatGeek.com or download the SeatGeek app. Go get some tickets, go have some fun, make some memories. Uh, next, we have Upstart, which is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online, okay, whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses. Over a uh, half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment, okay? Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find a smarter rate for your loan. Um, and it just takes like a five minute online uh, rate check. Um, so you can see your rate up front for loads between $1,000 and $50,000, okay? Uh, yeah, you receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan also. So quick turnaround. Uh, find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash basement. That's upstart.com slash basement. Don't forget to use uh, our URL to let them know we sent you, okay? 
Uh, loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and uh, certain other information provided in your loan application. Um, again, that is upstart.com slash basement. So definitely um, go check them out if you need a loan. Um, and lastly here we have Fitbod. Uh, Fitbod understands that the path uh, to achieving your best look is different for everyone, right? Which is very true. So when you go online and a lot of people are selling you these uh, workout routines, it's not really personalized for you. And sometimes it doesn't work for different people for whatever reasons, genetic or, you know, just certain goals are different. You can't just follow any old uh, fitness plan. Uh, but with Fitbod, their algorithm uses data and analytics to help you build on your last workout to maximize your results. Uh, whether you're exercising three days a week or twice a day, every workout is scientifically proven to be better than your last, which is super helpful. Um, but yeah, they, they're balanced to avoid overworking muscles, which a lot of people do, which is a big mistake, with varied exercises to keep you sharp. Um, it integrates with other fitness apps like Apple Health, Fitbit, and uh, Strava. Uh, personalized training can be tough on the budget, but Fitbot is only $9.99 a month or $59.99 a year. Uh, sign up now and you get a 25% off membership. Um, 25% huge. Um, and you can get that at fitbod.me slash basement. That's fitbod.me slash basement for 25% off. Um, out of all the things that I've kind of seen on the internet, Fitbot is like, has a really good understanding of how to work out and also how to personalize it for people depending on you know, their schedules or, or whatever they want to do. Like I said, this is for people who are exercising maybe three times a week or twice a day. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. There's HD, HD video tutorials um, to make learning new exercises a breeze. So, you know, if you don't know the name of something, they help you with that as well. Uh, again, 25% off at fitbod.me slash basement. Boom. Sorry I had to bore you and scare you with my haunted uh, demonic... Uh, experience. No, it's cool that you have demonic experience. I will say I did. I did have another experience. I'm bringing a lot to the table today, man. You have you had another experience. Someone. So remember, we, we demonic. Re we recently spoke about no one sending me fun messages, and I got one. Fun. Wait, what? When did we say that? Remember when you were saying like the person like about the the poop? Oh, the poop. oh wait, hold on. I have to say this because it's so funny. But do you remember when I read that DM about someone shitting, and then like the other person like, like pulled it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I trust me, I have tried to forget. So, hilarious, right? So, for those of you who missed that part of the episode, in the last episode, I read this DM, and the girl basically said that her boyfriend at the time was into her shitting and would, like, record videos of her shitting. He would pull it out. Right, so, at that point, right, <laughs> there was a part where she says, yeah, he, like, I would be shitting, and he'd be, like, pulling it, and that would be, like, the way that he would come. Interp my interpretation was that he was pulling shit out of her, right? She was, but like, then he was pulling himself. Well, yeah, a lot of people were like, uh, "I think what she meant, like pulling it, like jerking off, gotcha. instead of pulling the shit out of her ass." You, but see, that shame makes on a her. lot more sense. It does make sense, but also shame on her because context there is big. She could have said jerking off, cranking it, well, spanking it. Clearly, she's from a pulling it town, they beating say. it. Beating it. A yeah. pulling it town. Where the fuck is that? Nebraska? Pro I mean, it sounds like Midwestern, yeah. It would be. A lot of corn over there. Cracking it off or something. Ugh, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, but she knew, like, she, well, come on, guys. We obviously. I fucked it up. I, I think you're okay. Did you get a shitting one, though? You got a shitting one? No, 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 no. So I got one from uh, a friend of the show, and not quite as, you know, intense as that one, but definitely one that we, we I wanted to talk about. So no poop. Um, no poop. All right, that's no good. No poop. Good. Um, just binge watch the beginning of next week's episode, and you said you never receive funny DMs, and I could fix that. Until I was 16, I thought I could only come when I masturbated when laying on my stomach. Okay. Like face down, ass up. They spelled ass, by the way, with the dollar signs. <laughs> they wow. draw the line at the ass word. <laughs> okay. Uh, breathing was an issue. Breathing was Why an issue? Why was that an issue? <laughs> Wait, she, that, was wrote, that was written in there? Yes. Uh, of course, I'd get bit by the horny bug while at my friend's house because they had a hot mom, so I would literally lay on the bathroom floor, face to the ground, and just beat my lap hog to smithereens. Lap hog? Lap hog. Got it. Is there more? No, that's it. Did you hear that? You're, you want to tell a story? <laughs> the demons are coming out. Oh, boy, yeah. Jesus. Um, 
Nice kick, Charlie. Wait, so this kid can only jerk off face down, ass up? I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't asked if he still does this. I was confused for a second because I'm like, yo, how do you lay down and jerk off at the same time? Well, like, like a caterpillar. Yeah, I get it now. But like, I thought he was just laying on his stomach. Why does it like? Why do you believe that that's the only way that you can come? I, I think you believe weird. Like, the first time that you discover your penis is, and you're probably doing weird stuff to it. Gotcha. You know? I used to do weird stuff. I used to just like press it. Press I used on to it. just. I used to have a the back massager. I've told this. Yeah. My, I used to honestly, my, my dick was like shaken. Uh, but. That's like a weird way. Like that's a very compromising situation to be face down ass up. Yeah, so I don't maybe know that's who, what it is. But like you've never seen. Like I don't know how I know how to jerk off. Maybe it's like innate in humans, like sneezing and coughing. Y- yeah, and like you know how to do that. Yeah, yeah, and like breathing and stuff. That's a good and, question. How? Do, like I mean, no one's ever been like, yo, you do it like this. Like I was like, but like how? How most I would say, uh, young adult males learn about sex is from porn. So I'm sure you just look at porn and you're just like. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I would fucking, I would jerk off like I was trying to take paint off a wall. I would go so fast. Really? Yeah, man. Jeez, I was afraid of that. I would, I would have a nice, like, steady sort of. And uh, I remember afterward, it would, like, tingle. And I was like, something's not right here. Yeah. I almost started a fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With no lubrication? No, well, I, I, at the time, I would use hair gel. So <laughs> I forgot about that. It was yeah. a very, it was like Teflon. It was like fucking shit was slipping and sliding. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. If I wasn't Jesus. careful, I would have pulled my whole dick off and not knew it. So was your pubes just like, well, a lot of the time it would happen in the shower. You would jerk off with gel in the shower. Yeah. Jesus. It would have to be pre hand pruning because then, then it's just ruined. Now it's just like, now pruning. yeah. Now it's like you're getting jerked off by a fucking bag of raisins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't fun. Yo, you know what I've never done, which a lot of people do? Like fuck fruit? No. Well, I've never done that. I've never done it either. Yeah, which which fruit would you though? Honestly, I really like watermelon. Yeah, but that wouldn't be cool. Why not? Because it it would collapse. No, it watermelons are tough, dude. No, it's not like other fruit. I'm not fucking jumping on it like I'm trying to kill it. No, but as soon as you put your penis in a watermelon, it's it's a wrap. It falls apart. What? 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 Yes. How the fuck is that even po- It's a fucking hard-ass watermelon, dude. You can't finger a watermelon. You can cut a hole into a watermelon? What do you mean you can't finger a watermelon? Joey, do you understand what fruit are? Frankie, this is what I'm saying. You get a plum. Not a plum. You get a peach. I was going to say. Not a pe- plum. Peach will fall apart on you. A, a, a peach is way more like together than a fucking watermelon. <laughs> Yo, hold on. You're talking about I'm the not, outside shell. Yeah. I'm talking about once you get, you know, you breach the atmosphere. Yeah, a little will fall out, sure. No, but, not fall out, bro. This what do you what think? I, I got a blender for a cock? No, that thing is going in there and it's not going to do much damage. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying you get a watermelon, right? Obviously, the outside's hard. You drill a hole in the top and then you get rid of the, you know, whatever. And then you start banging it. My thing, what I'm saying is the actual red part, the pulp. The pulp of the fucking the thing pulp. is once you put your dick in, it'll just smush down, and now you just gotta. It's, yeah, but it's like digging a hole. Like the the farther you dig, the walls collapse in on no, you. No, yes, no, yes, yes, no. Yes, yeah. And then like it's digging just, a hole at the beach. No. The walls stay up. No, Joe, walls stay up. What are you digging a hole with? The fucking auger? No way. Those things. I've dug. I dug holes at beaches, Joey. I've dug. I've dug. I've you dug get holes. down there. You get down there, and and the holes will collapse in on you. Dude, absolutely. No, you put a little bit of water. Which was there's a lot of water in a watermelon. Well, there's a watermelon, but it's it's living in the water, so it's like slushy in there as it is. You're gonna be going in, and you're gonna be like putting your dick in a slush puppy, baby. You think banging a watermelon would be better than banging a peach? Are you fucking dumb? First of all, what fucking peach are you getting a hold of? Peaches are like the size of baseball. You can get big peaches. You can, a big at most is like that, and that's all you need, baby. But but then your dick is going through the other end. Yeah, and it acts as like a thing. <laughs> you ever heard of the term? You bruised like a peach? No. Why do you think? Dude. People were fucking peaches and they were falling apart on That's them. not true. Yes. No. Yes, it does. A bruise like a peach is for fucking... Bro, you ever bit into a juicy peach and it's just... <laughs> yeah, you don't want that? <laughs> you do. But the second you bite into it, it's just fucking... It's just... You gotta get it Goop. pitted. You gotta get it pitted. Well, yeah, obviously, obviously you pit yeah, it. But yeah. then the pit, the inside, the fucking butthole looking part, that's, that's, a, little, that's a little rough. I mean, it's not that rough. It's a little Dude, rough. Watermelon's a little rough too. Let's well, not get crazy. Well, the outside, but no, that's what's going to be hitting Dude. your fucking balls Dude, and the, your stomach. 
The inside of a watermelon? Yo, I can't believe you think a peach will get fucked and hold up more than a watermelon. For- How? Yes. I mean, be- Frankie, yeah. because it would it would be like. Where do you feel like? Where do you feel about? What do you feel about cantaloupe? I would slam a can. I really would depend. I think it would be okay. People microwave it before they slam it. How do you know that? Uh, that movie. What was that movie? Good Luck Chuck. Remember? He banged a cantaloupe. Oh yeah, he's all about it. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that. But I have fingered a pie. What was that pie that? Oh, I, I fingered a pumpkin pie, and I was like, bro. Well, pumpkin pie is just mush. That's a, that's the same thing. If that, that's what you're arguing about a fucking watermelon, that's the same yeah, shit. No. If not, if it's softer, it's like baby uh, shit. I'm not advocating for the pumpkin pie. If you're gonna finger any pie, three, two, one, cherry pie. Ew, dude. I know it's disgusting, but it's like you got like the bumps in there, and it's like ribbed. What the fuck pie are you eating? <laughs> cherry pie. I'm not eating it. But, like, there's cherries in it. No, but I'm telling you, I fingered a pumpkin pie, and I was like, this is nice and mushy. Well, yeah, it's mushy. Yeah, that's what you would want. But, like, this is what I'm saying, bro. Yo, I am, I am flabbergasted. Here's, dude, uh, you're flabbergasted. Have you ever bit into a watermelon? Like, it, it's, like, rough. It's not smooth. Yeah. Joey, when I, have, when I cut the watermelon and I bite into it, but it stays intact. And if I fucking put my finger through it, the whole thing doesn't fall apart like it's peanut brittle. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It fucking, if I'm sitting there and bashing this thing that kingdom come, then yes, it's going to get a little wet and mushy in there. But that's the whole point of fucking fruit. Bro. Bro, you, you're nuts. You're, honestly, this is fucking wild. Also, like, grapefruit. Yeah, too, obviously uh, grapefruit is the supreme fruit to fuck. It's very stingy because it's like if you have a cut. You ever see that video of that girl? Yeah, jerking off the. <laughs> yeah, that was just like insane. Good for her. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, great for her or her partner. Yeah, well, yeah, just don't get a cut because then it'll sting. Bingo, bango. Oh, or some people might be into that stuff. Oh yeah, no, there is. We talk- that gets in the pee hole though. You're in for a big fat fucking problem. Oh my god, like a full week. Of That's problem. gonna hurt like crap. One time I got a. <laughs> One time I got shampoo on my how you doing. Oh, yeah. That was not No, sick. never fun. Never fun. No. Literally like a mini fire at the tip of your penis. The, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But, Joey. Why did we get into banging fruit? What was he talking about? Oh, he's fucking face down fucking Oh, yeah. This off. guy jerking off face down. I, I, can't, I can't believe you think a peach will hold up better to thrust action. I think it would be better to bang a peach than it would to bang a I'm watermelon. Saying it might feel better, but that's subjective. That's all we're here but for. That's subjective, Joe. No, some people are here because they get fucking off on the moisture. Bro, the watermelon feels like there's a fruit covered in like spider web. Listen. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Listen. That's listen, what you enjoy? Listen. Spider web? I'm, the way that things feel is subjective, Joey. A good back No, massage. they're not. Yes, it is. What feels good to me not, might, feel, might not feel good to you. So I'm asking you, you like a spider web on your penis? I've never put one there, so I can't consistently say if I would or would not. No one likes spider fucking webs, kid. Well, when they're on your face out of nowhere. No, the like, other, I got, I, spider webs are quite silky. I can understand why that might. Uh, if are not nice, silky. If you had a bunch of it, it might, it might. It might, bro. I walked through a spider web and it hit my knee and I freaked out and it well, slapped my knee. Because off. you're afraid of spiders. No, I, I don't like the feeling of a random like, like a string on. Understood. It. But if you ha- were able to ball it up and fucking jerk off with it, you might like it. A spider web, maybe. What are? What is happening? <laughs> Welcome to the basement yard. Ladies <laughs> it's gentlemen. fucking insane. I, 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 whatever you want to say whatever. about spider web. No, 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 no. I, I just, I legitimately, it's bothering me to the point where you think that a watermelon would not hold up as good or feel as good. It definitely wouldn't feel like it might, legit, but again, like, that's, objectively. That's subjective, Joey. It's not. That is subjective. Things are right and things are wrong. Yes, but the way that things make each individual feel as an individual can't be either of those. We're talking majorities, macro I would and say micro. Macro, I, listen. I would say out here, people would rather... Okay, no, they'd rather fuck a peach. You're right. You're right. But it's that thing is going to be just fucking cobbler under your cock. Yeah. A watermelon, cut a hole in that son of a bitch. That thing will last for multiple uses. We're talking about quantity over quality here. No, we want quality. Yes, but then you got to buy more peach. You can buy one watermelon, fuck it for a week, and you're living the dream. Fuck it for a week. I, I, dude, you're really underestimating. Like, no. Bro, watermelon. You ever picked up and held a watermelon? That shit is sturdy. 
Yeah, I'm not saying you're going to like break the watermelon in half. That's what you said. I'm, no, I'm saying that the stuff inside... <laughs> we've been talking about this way too long. But like the stuff inside, right? If you put a watermelon like this... Yes. And I just take my finger... Let's just say like a regular watermelon. It's like boom, boom. Like that, right? Oh, like a half. A half piece that you would eat normally. <laughs> if I stick my finger through the middle of the red and then took it out, it's not going to hold its shape. The top is going to break. Well, because of the science of that, but if I lay it down... Listen to me. If I lay this down and I put my finger through it, my finger will go right through that. It's not going to crack the whole watermelon. No, but but what will happen is that part of the watermelon will just compact and it will leave yes, a hole. But then the, around it, it'll be a crater and it'll be sturdy ground around it. This, yeah. It's like a sinkhole. But you'll be you'll be digging in and out of it and eventually the walls will just get wider and wider. And I mean, they're, fucking air. they're not going to get wider and wider. They're going to get as long and wide as your fucking shaft. I know. Which is not going to fucking break any, you know, structural defaults. I don't know. I, I don't know. If anyone's fucked a watermelon, let us know. Yeah, literally hit me up. If anyone has fucked a peach or a watermelon, and, yeah. and or both, uh, uh, like, to try it out. I think that a peach is a gateway to a watermelon. Can you just do me a favor, just to please, like, not please, that's the wrong word, to satisfy, also bad. Can you just Google, I'll Google it. Just someone fucking a watermelon. I just need to know what would happen when someone fucks a watermelon. Um, what do you think happens? Um, I Also, what happens if you get a seed in you? I mean... Can that grow? I assume. What happened? Watermelon could be natural Viagra. <laughs> Straight to the source. Oh, uh, I don't even believe in any of that. Do you believe in that? Have you ever eaten an oyster and been like, oh, I'm horny? No, I don't I don't think so. Yeah, like, who the fuck is horny eating oysters? Those are an aphrodisiac, but, like, I've never eaten, like, oysters and been like, oh, my God, I would love to have sex right now all over the place. I'm eating a disgusting, like, booger. I need That's to, not disgusting, but you know what I mean. I need to see. Um, I would love to, like, drink beers and have oysters soon. Bro, uh, this guy looks like he's going, he's doing a pretty good job with this watermelon. Uh, what, define, what does that mean? You're... Oh, it's dark. Oh, there it goes. I probably just gave my phone a virus. Yeah. Frank, you're Googling men fucking watermelon. Like, what do you think's going to happen to you? Yeah, I just got a pop-up saying my iPhone has been hacked. Perfect. <laughs> All right. You ever, you ever get that pop-up when you're watching porn? It's like, yo, the FBI. No, no, I don't. Oh, my God. So good. So good. Scared the hell out of me at, like, 13. I bet. I was like, yo, the FBI. Aren't there ones that are, like... um They'll like send you like a message saying like we have we have video from your camera of you jerking off or some shit. That reminds me of the Black Mirror episode. You remember that one? Yeah, that was fucking crazy. So many twists. Don't so many twists. don't spoil it, but boy. Yeah. If you guys haven't watched Black, did I say Black Widow? No, you said Black Mirror. Black Mirror on Netflix. It is fucking wild. I think the episode's called Shut Up and Dance. It is, and it is wild. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Yeah, crazy. So. What was that? I don't know. Uh, we haven't even talked about this kid. He's jerking off like He's a, jerking off facing facing down. The kid's jerking off like an inchworm. That's also kind of weird because, like, you're putting your face on the bathroom floor. Like, at your friend's... I love you. I'm not putting my face on your floor. I wouldn't put my face on my bathroom floor. It is gross. Well, also... Especially you, your shaving bathroom. You're mostly barefoot when you're in there, too. Yeah. I'm Well, if you're getting out of the shower, it's clean. Yeah, but during the day, I don't wear, like... Well, yeah, I guess not barefoot, but like socks and shit. I guess so, yeah. That I'm would not wearing be... shoes all, the, all day. That would be bad. Do you have a shoe off policy? No, like in my house? Yeah. No, 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 I no. think that sucks. That's like a cultural thing. I, I get it. I really don't like it. I once went somewhere for work, and I wear my work boots. You know, the infamous, the Skechers. Yeah, and you're like fucking tied into those. Those things are tied in, and I, and I went to interview this guy at his place, and he, oh, he was like, yo, you got to take your boots off. And I, I was like, I'll see you in a half hour. Yeah, I you, get know, it, you know, but I get it. It's a again, it's a cultural thing. I don't think it's a cultural thing. It's like a, I think you it's know, in Japan. Yeah, Japanese people they don't wear shoes, whatever. But like it's uh, I, don't, I think it's just everyone's like oh germs, and it's like bro, I just like come on, I'm an adult, and now I'm just. But fucking... it's like I'm not eating off the floor, and I'm not licking it, and like putting my face on it that freaking. So why why do I care that much about like what's yeah, on it? Yeah, like it's the floor for a reason. It's the floor, bros. Well, let, it's the floor. And then again... It's the goddamn floor. Imagine if, like, you walked into me jerking off in that position in your in your bathroom. 
If I opened the door and you were face down, ass up, jerking off like an inchworm. Yes. I, it would be the best day of your life. Also, I'd be staring down the barrel of your asshole. <laughs> well, I wouldn't. I could be facing my face, facing the door. Well, yeah. like you can just see my silhouette. Yeah, I I don't know if I could really. I almost that kind of like happened to me though. That happened with like Keith when he was like he was like drunk and he was like naked. Oh. And I like opened the door to the bathroom. This was like blackout Keith, like the Ugh, peak icon, icon, like the blackout Keith story, it's the icon of the game. Yeah, he he was like. He thought his room was the bathroom, and he was, like, closing the door on me. And I was like, bro, the bathroom's in here. And he went in there, and my mom's like, get him out of there, whatever. And I opened the door, and he was just bent over, and his fucking asshole was just looking at me like... Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. I don't think I've seen another person's asshole except for myself. Really? And even then, I think it was, like, the last time I saw the... the, the what's it called? When me, you, and Danny did the episode, and I went in the mirror and checked it out? Yeah. That was a rough day. I like I couldn't believe what I saw. You saw your bunghole. I was really <laughs> disappointed with myself. <laughs> bunghole. You saw your that's bunghole, bringing, that's bringing yeah. it back. Ninety-eight. I, I mean, you clean it, so you're good. But the, you know, I said mine was like kind of purple that day. It was weird. Yeah, you can you can clean something so much if it still looks gross, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like if I power washed an alleyway and like bleached it and everything, would you eat off the floor? I probably wouldn't eat off of like. The Earth's ground. Well, all right, but I'm saying like an alleyway, like it's like paved. Yeah, that's literal rock, dude. No. Yeah, but it's not man-made. I mean, it is man-made. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, that doesn't make it. It's if made I, out of Earth material. What's that called? Never Natural mind. resources. Never mind, Joey. You're not getting what I'm saying here. Whatever, bro. Also, Speak speaking of cleaning, like all these fucking celebrities now are coming out being like, "Yeah, I don't really take yeah, showers." Yeah, what the fuck is going on? I don't really know why everyone thinks, you know, like Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis were like, "Yeah, we take like one shower." I was like, what? "No, I think they were saying like they don't bathe their kids as much." Yeah, but they're like only when they get itchy, and I'm like, what? "That's gross. That's weird." If it gets to that point, it's bad. Also, like if celebrities you... haven't been getting enough attention, so they need to start, you know, stirring the pot a little bit, so people start talking about them again. Jake Gyllenhaal came out and he said some weird shit too. He was just like, "Yeah, I, you know, I don't really shower that often these days." Honestly, if I was that rich and no one gave a fuck at how, like, he can go anywhere and people would be like, "I don't care how you smell. You're Jake Gyllenhaal." I don't, but like, here's the thing. I get it to a certain point, but these people are taking it like to another level. Because one, it's just not comfortable, especially in the summer when you like naturally sweat and like whatever, like you have this sticky feeling on you. Yeah. You don't want to get that off. I feel off. like that right now. I'm like, yeah, that, that. yeah, I'm all, I feel like, you know, I'm covered in gum. Or yeah, something. it's a you little, I mean? it's a little uncomfortable. I don't. I, I. Is this gonna be like the new fad, like how veganism was about like eight years ago? Stop where, doing showers. Yeah. yeah, where everyone was just like, I am not eating animals, like because everyone else isn't, and now it's like, oh, I'm just gonna stop showering. Yeah, which I there's mean, something to it. I don't. I, so I'm not on a strict showering schedule mm -hmm. of like two a day. No, like, me neither. I don't. I don't really do that. I mean, I do shower. I do shower twice a day most days. But that's only because I'm, like, forced to shower if I exercise. Yes. I only shower once a day. Yeah. And it's in, like, it's in the morning. But, again, if I, you know, work out, I'm not. I would, <laughs> I would wait, work out, and then shower. Right. But for the most part, I'm not. Also, if I'm going in, like, a lake, I'm not showering for that day or well, the next. Well, that's another thing. Anytime I've ever been in Connecticut with you guys, which I've been up there for, like, four days sometimes, I... Don't shower. Actually, the last time I went, I showered. Really? Well, that's because I went and played tennis with Espo. I would just lather up some natural soap in the fucking water. I did that with Ahmed once. That's someone that needs a shower a lot. <laughs> that dirty fuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ahmed is, Ahmed is probably better groomed than I will ever be. I, I would say so, too. I would definitely <laughs> say so. He's always smelling good. He's always wearing cologne. He is. Um... But yeah, no. I, Who else? If you can name three celebrities you think definitely don't shower. Mickey Rourke. <laughs> Yo, that is a fucking... You, you've thought about this. No, that immediately came to me. Okay. Like, well, this guy looks greasy. Mickey Rourke. Okay. Who else? Um, what's that guy's name? Oh, he's a really good actor. He was in um, Warrior. He played the drunk dad. Uh, 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 Nolte. Nick Nolte? Nick Nolte. Doesn't shower. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. smells of fucking stale cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, Kid Rock? <laughs> Kid Rock, dude? Kid, you know, Kid oh Rock God. bathes in the tears of people that he uses homophobic slurs. I think Kid Rock 
doesn't shower, but he does go home and use one of those like spray bottle fans. <laughs> you know, he's, he just fucking, he's like, oh, I need to get clean. And he just has a fucking 15 year old bottle of Axe. And just oh. like goes under the arms and under the the, the boys. The boys. All right, yeah. I'm going to give you some celebrities. You're going to tell me yes or no if they shower. Okay. Or bathe, I guess, is the term I'm looking for. All right? Mm-hmm. Carson Daly. I think he used to. Okay. I think he gave up. He's like, whatever. He's like, done. What? How was that the first name you thought know. of? Carson Daly. <laughs> the next one I thought of is really going to throw you off. What? Baby Spice. Baby Spice? Yeah. I haven't even seen this woman in 20 years. Yeah, all, right. all right, Mel B. You're just going to name the Spice Girls. <laughs> I don't think there's many women that I would associate Ginger. with. Ginger. Not... Can you name all the Spice Girls? Uh, Ginger, Scary, Sporty, Posh, and Baby. Wow. You are good. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Come on. There's a fucking Spice Girls. <laughs> remember those lollipops? Do I remember the lollipops? Oh, man. They were so used good. used to fuck those lollipops up. No, I, oh, I, was, I, was waiting for the, I was waiting for the up, Joe. Uh, oh. All right. Um, uh, Bryce Harper. Yeah, I think he's forced to. John Goodman. Not so much these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can reach now, so I assume now he showers. Hey. That's a little much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Natalie Portman. You know what? Maybe not. Oh, boy, why? I, first of all, I'm I'm like, there was a time not too long ago where I was like legitimately in love with her and I like checked if she was like engaged. She was. You know? She was, yeah. You ever do that though? You see, like you watch a movie and like someone's like, like whoever and you're like, are they engaged? And then if they aren't, you're like, I have a shot. Yeah. You don't. You never had. I thought, you know who I legitimately believed I had a shot with at the age of 13? This should be good. Vanessa Hudgens. I swear to God. You feel like, yo, I got I felt, yo, I legitimately felt like, yo, I, I, like, could sh- if I shoot my shot, I'll be all right. I remember being young and, and, and being, like, legitimately, like, upset and, like, confused by the feeling of, like, that Katy Perry didn't know who I was. Oh, that's a good one. I was like, yo, I can't, but, like, I'm I, so I, mad. I had in, in like... Two like, th- she just needs to meet me. In, like, 2010, my background on my computer was the, the picture of her from the California Girls video. It was, like, her, sh- her No, tits? the one where she's, like, laying on a cloud. And, like, her, like, she's, her, like, her, her asshole's out. out. Well, maybe not the hole. Not the hole, but, the like, The ass yeah. was out, yeah. Yeah, the ass was out. But the, I... You know the one where she, it was, like, she had, like, her tits <laughs> and, like, cream yeah. shooting out of it? yeah. Uh, that was that was doing it for you. Yeah, it was. Uh, but I um I just had another one that I was gonna remember. Mariah Carey was another one. That I was like, yo, you you thought you had a shot? Um, no, but I was because she was like, you know, but I I was like, god damn, this woman is hot. What as about shit. Courtney Love? Is she showering? <laughs> no, yo, you know, you're not even gonna answer that know, one, are you? Oh no. Um, but do you know who uh, who I saw the other day? And I was like, good for you. Reba. Oh. Reba McIntyre. Reba McIntyre. She's still doing it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember I used to make fun of like... The, I'm a survivor. Yeah. I remember I used to like... Remember when SNL did the thing where it was Keenan Thompson dressed up and he was like, I'm Reba. Yeah. I used to say that shit all the time. No, like I, I saw... Uh, I think she has like a TikTok account. And she just like, you know, she looks the same. Which well, is good it's, for her. It's, it's Reba. It's fucking Reba McIntyre. And she's a survivor. And she's like feeding cows or some shit. Like she, she's living her life. She had she had a show. She's had albums. Had albums, yeah. She's crushing it. Yeah, she was an actor. She was in Little Rascals. Wow, she was in Little. She was the mom, right? No, she was like the main driver woman. Driver woman. The whole race was like ah uh, yes, yes 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 yes. I should have known this. Miles recently watched it. I I, I got to get better. Yeah. Um. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. It's like the cash prize. Yeah. You, you know a lot about the movies that you know. You know yeah, what I, mean? I know. Like I outside do. of that, you don't know. About. <laughs> I do, bro. I know the fucking oh, movies. Man, uh, yeah, no, but I remember at the time, um, it, Vanessa Hudgens, like a, a girl that I knew in middle school. She was like, "Oh yeah, my aunt is Vanessa Hudgens's manager," and I was like, "Oh, legitimately tell her like I will like take her out to dinner." I wasn't bringing her out of anywhere. Yeah, no. And and then I heard that song "Sneaker Night" and I was like, I, I've gotten over her. Mm-hmm. You heard, Not a good song. You heard that song? Oh, I've known that song. <laughs> I'm put your sneakers on. She's wearing like Echo Red sneakers. Every, everyone, go Google Vanessa Hudgens "Sneaker oh, Night." Oh, it's so bad. It's terrible. It is so fucking. It's, it's honestly a shame 
that Rebecca Black got so much shit for Friday. And she didn't get enough shit. And, and Vanessa Hudgens, like, kind of got away with sneaking Honestly, out. there are three. Like, that, call me maybe. Time out. I, no, 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 no. Listen what I'm going to say. You're not going to say anything bad about it. It's that. a banger. It is an absolute banger. Yeah. But it, like, it was so popular that, like, people had to hate it. You know what I mean? Like, C- call me maybe. I've never seen something like that in my entire life. Yeah, that, that Actually, w- Old Town Road. But that's it. The, just those two. I can't... You know why I'm able to speak to Call Me Maybe? Because I was in college at the time. And it was... Every, you know what other song... Swept the name. You know what other song was big like that too? And it drove me nuts was um, Shut Up and Dance With Me. Shut up and Dude, dance I hate that song so much. That was... Um, the walk-in song for my brother's wedding. Of course it was. Yeah. It, like for the groomsmen and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. If I was at your brother's wedding, I wasn't, he didn't mind me, I would have <laughs> been fucking very angry because those two songs, and Call Me Maybe was one of those that like just blew Bro, up. Call Me Maybe and Old Town Road were like insane. Oh, Call Me Maybe was even more like kind of crazy. I mean. Do you remember Old Town Road in the, in the bus to my sister's wedding? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I'm not a big like popper of bottles. I was going. You would have thought that I had just won the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, was, I was going ape shit. It was the winners of the ALCS. But call oh, me man. maybe Friday is a bad song. It's not a great song, but she was also like eleven. Wasn't there another song she made? It was like Chinese food or some shit like that. No, there was a different. <laughs> it's the same guy who like had that company. Oh, that yeah, well, which who, also weird like business strategy. Who like, was that guy? The the, the the black guy. He looked like Fat Usher. Yeah, oh, I don't know his he name. He kind of looked like just poor Flo Rida. No, he didn't look like Flo Rida. A little bit. Flo Rida. No, what? Uh-huh. Also, yo, a Flo Rida song came on the radio the other day, and I was like, yo, I feel like people forget this dude had fucking hits. He, it's still, still fucking cranking him out. This guy's also, got a bajillion dollars. Also, Tyo Cruz had a hot fucking minute remember do you remember that? um tayo cruz and Whoa! You're like, oh. luna yeah oh uh, what about um oh, fuck what was that other guy uh so baby on you down 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 on, son that's jay sean bro <laughs> <laughs> did, hold on a sec wait down down did we just hear that oh, down. that's a good song damn oh little little wayne was on that remix Woo. Dude. Oh, he was in Young Money, Jay Sean. Was he? Remember Kevin Rudolph? Oh. Let it rock! Dude, that song. Weird looking guy. Really? And honestly, the song was only cool over the one NBA commercial it was in. It was good for like two days. I thought it was good. And what about Party Like a Rockstar? You remember those guys? Yeah. Those, oh, Party man. Like a Rock. I actually remember going to Connecticut for the first time, and we were in your dad's car, and you were playing that song, and he immediately shut it off. Really? Yeah, he hated it. Oh, my dad loved listening to the music I would listen to. I remember one time on Christmas, we were driving, and it was when... Oh, that's another one that was big, too. Tonight! Fun? Dude, I remember one day... Funny story. On Christmas uh, Eve, we were driving to my uncle's house, and that song was on the radio, and myself, my brothers, and my sister were all in the car and singing it, and my dad was crying. Crying? Yeah. Why? Because he's he, just like happy. He's, like, he's my family. He's in here. And they're singing and songs. And they're fucking just singing so <laughs> Your dad's a sensitive he guy. He's a sensitive boy. That's good. Yeah. Oh, fun. We gotta... You know what? I would love to discuss... What happened to fun? They're still out cranking fucking songs about nothing. Really? I need to get my story straight. My friends are in a bad doom. That's a banger though. Is it? Also, uh, One Night or something about Night. What's that song they have? It's fire. Hey, it in the oh, open. some nights I stay up. Catch it in the That's a good song, too. Dog. I don't know any other fun songs. Actually, there's probably another one, but I don't There's really definitely know. like one or two. But they're bajillionaires forever now because of that one song. That's yeah. it. Dude, it's crazy how some songs just sweep the niche like that. It really was. Like, Call Me Maybe, bro, was so fucking good. You don't hear about songs like that often anymore. Like, you, every, you would have like one a year of those when we were younger. Yeah. Like, it was, it was uh, Get Low or Yeah. <sighs> Or fucking lean with it, rock with it, lean back. Um, you know, uh, like just like every year, there was like one or two songs that was like Z100 played it every other song. Yeah. You know? Dude, I'm thinking about Call Me Maybe. And like there was so much like content around that. Like people did all these remixes for it. And it was kind of the same thing. Also, Old Town Road, I think, is the most played song of all time. Is it? Yeah. That song, that song with Billy Ray still slaps. 
song when, dude i remember being at a bar and all of a sudden you hear yeah and everyone would be like oh it was just yo wild. people would lose their fucking people still shit. lose their minds I, I honestly if i was drunk and out and i heard that song you best believe i'm going on think about what would happen in 20 years when that song comes on what's gonna happen I, i'm gonna lose it what's gonna happen when our kids are like oh mommy daddy Show us the hits from when you were a kid. I'll be like, all right, sit down. I'll be like, here's 50 cents, get rich or die, try and study it. Yeah. <laughs> study that. She's going to be like, Ruby, you want to hear a fucking classic? My buddy. My <laughs> buddy. <laughs> you know, she's going to be like, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's fuck. true, though. There are no, like, classic, like, family-friendly songs. Like, when like our parents were nah, younger, it was like, is. you know, fucking, you know, Jolly oh, this small town girl. And now it's like... You know, like, can we... Wait till you see my dick, hey, hey yeah. bitch. <laughs> what, are the, what are we going to show our kids? Probably Salt Shaker. Wow. <laughs> I am. I, I recently showed uh, my nephew some Biggie songs, and he was like, yeah. I was like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I was very upset. Beats up shit. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's going to be interesting. That'll be, that'll be a good time. Yeah. We'll see. And also, I'm definitely going to hate what the fuck they're listening to, bro. I hate what people are listening to now. I don't. I do. But I think that one day I'll get there. I remember hearing, uh, no no disrespect to a Takashi 6 9 but I remember hearing one of his songs and I was like, this is, like, I personally couldn't listen to well, it. Well, yeah, that's definitely an acquired taste. Fucking beat, top of titty, tip, pew, 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 pot, two. Yeah, exactly. That was his hit single. I just got the Are you hiccups. okay? I got the hiccups again. From screaming? The, the demon was coming out. The demon was coming out. Demon came out. <laughs> the demon came. That's what that was. Yeah. I've been possessed by the ghost of Takashi. Yeah. He's not dead, right? No, he's alive. Oh, okay. Is he still making music? Um, That's neither here nor there, I guess. Gotcha. I don't really know how to use that. If there was one right. musical artist right now that was singing or producing music that's like as a result of a demon, who would it be? And why is it Kanye West? <laughs> Do you see the videos from the Donda per performance? Yo, that was kind of crazy. No! He was like airlifted out of the stadium. That's, That's stupid. Yo, he's got some balls doing that. I'd be terrified to do that shit. It's Kanye West. What is, I, I want old Kanye, man. I want fucking Kanye's workout plan. Wanna see you. Those days are over. I know. Because now he's like... I do have... I am optimistic that one day he's going to drop an album that's like... Because I Fun. feel like he could still do it. Yeah. And he could if he wanted to. But he likes being innovative with his music. But I think that one day he's going to do it and it's going to be awesome. I want a full album of just like the style that he put into the verse from Poker Face with Kid Cudi and... and uh, yeah. Um, Lady Gaga. But can't, uh, The sample. N yes. But who's the other rapper that was in it? Uh, Common. I just want that. Just like a whole album. You know, just give me like 12 different styles of Kanye's workout plan. And while we're at it. And touch the sky. Man on the Mood Kid Cudi was a good album too. That was, that was. I remember I posted a, um, once upon a time nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All said and done and my cock's been sucked. And like one of my like family friends was like, hey, don't post Don't this. post that? Don't post this anywhere. <laughs> oh God. All right, cool. Uh. We could wrap it up. I'm starting to sweat like a binge. Yeah, don't be like those other fucking elitists that you know and not shower. You should shower after this. Well, I'm going to go for a run after this. It's 105 degrees out. I went running yesterday. It was even worse. You're you're out of your fucking mind. Where can I find you, Frank? Hopefully on this show next week. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I make it. <laughs> uh, full transparency. Uh, there might be a demon in my house. We're going to get rid of it, though. Uh, that was a good pun. Full transparency. They're transparent. F Alvarez eight zero eight five on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram, and then go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Get every weekly episode a week in advance and exclusive episodes on Friday that drop that are kind of a little, believe it or not, a little more all over the place than our weekly. So they're a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato and go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram, and that is all. See you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>